I went to the teller and showed her my bank card, my cash card, showed her my credentials. And she looked at me and looked at the credentials and looked at her screen and then looked at me again and said, your account is frozen. Now at six, a South Florida man targeted by fraudsters and locked out of his own bank account. Unbelievable that you could hold a federal pension check, federal money, for a month. CBS 4 is live with the latest on this senior scam and what anyone can do to avoid becoming a victim. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Deerfield Beach with the latest on this investigation and the warning signs you should keep an eye out for. Joan? Well, this is such an important story about being careful when you are going on the internet to fill out paperwork to fill out things for a financial transaction. This veteran found out too late and now he cannot access his own bank account. This is a letter from the Director of Veterans Affairs. To me. Raymond Bruno's condo walls are filled with awards and pictures from a 30-year career with the Department of Veteran Affairs. The 76-year-old Navy veteran gets a $4,000 a month federal pension check. These are all bills that I can't pay. The reason? He can't access his bank account and the $4,000 pension check because he was told by a teller his account has been hacked. And looked at her screen and then looked at me again and said, your, your account is frozen. Unbeknownst to me, I said, what? My account is frozen? For what purpose? Well, there was evidently some fraud. Bruno's not alone. The Federal Trade Commission said last year there were 2.8 million fraud reports from consumers. $5.8 billion lost. Raymond Bruno said his fraud happened when he applied for a personal loan over the Internet. They needed my account number and my routing symbol so they could send a check there to the right to the bank for 5000 That was a big mistake I made. The loan was fake. The bank caught the fraud, but that triggered an audit. Well, I didn't have time on my side. I needed my money. On Friday, the bank relented and allowed him to access $1,000, but he's stressing on how he will get the rest of his money to pay his bills. I'm having panic attacks over it. I'm having one right now. This is not fair. It's not a fair thing to do to somebody. This is such a financial nightmare and a really a warning to all of us when we're going on the internet, especially doing something as important as applying for a loan. There are legitimate companies out there, but you really have to do your homework. At this point, he is continuing to talk to his bank. He's trying to work out an agreement where he can get those funds sooner than a month from now, because that is what they're estimating the time will take for this audit. In Deerfield Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.